RSL Insider presented by at and I'm your host, Brian Dunseth. Real Salt Lake back at training here at Zango Field after Jason Christ gave the boys Easter Sunday off. For Monterey, their opponent coming off a 1-1 draw against Puebla at the weekend. That forces Monterey to look to the final match of the season in the Clausura to book their spot in the playoffs. Tough matchup, though. They'll have to go to Chivas de Guadalajara. Now looking ahead at the CONCACAF Champions League second leg matchup here at Rio Tinto Stadium, big questions for Victor Manuel Vucetich. Up top, Aldo de Nigres and Eduardo Zavala both suspended for that second leg, as well as Sergio Santana allegedly picking up a hamstring strain. So it'll be interesting to see which starting 11 takes the field for Monterey. On the other side of things, for Real Salt Lake, the biggest loss is going to be the captain, Kyle Beckerman. He's unavailable because of picking up that yellow card down at Estadio Tecnological. Good news, though, for Real Salt Lake fans. RSL, seven wins, zero losses, and three draws when Beckerman is not in the starting 11. He's very, very hurt by this decision. He's grown. He's, he's played his whole life to play in a match like this. Yes, we're going to miss his leadership and um, his voice out there. But uh, like you said, we have a deep squad. I think we'll be fine. We have to feel um, good about what we accomplished down there. We have to feel good about the result that we bring back. Um, but it's a measured good for sure because this is still a very, very dangerous opponent. They're a good team. Uh, they had a lot of chances that uh, I think we're going to, you know, focus on this week and, and try to limit. We don't want to give up goals, so uh, we got to limit those chances. And I'm sure he's going to talk to us about uh, playing on, you know, the defensive side of the ball, but also keeping the ball and, and, and getting some goals ourselves. It's a good feeling. We have the fan support, and and uh, we're confident here and play our best soccer here. That's a huge result. Uh, I said it before. Um, special players make special plays. Absolutely, I think it was the most important goal in Arsenal's history at the moment. Um, but he um, kind of lifted a little weight off of us. Alvarez got the ball and, and obviously gave the ball to our playmaker, and, and he made the goal that, that could get us to the next round. The fact that we can compete and hopefully on Wednesday uh, beat uh, a Mexican team that's spending nearly three times as much as we are on our, on our players' salaries would be extremely gratifying. It's all about hunger when you reach uh, when you reach next stage and when you've already got some of the accomplishments that he has uh, under his belt with two championships and, and other accolades and records being broken and amounts of shutouts last year and this that or the other. I think that Nick uh, gets it and, and continues to say, "I want uh, I want what this team wants, and that's to be the best, not only in MLS but in our region." This means a, a ton. Uh, to us as a club and to our league and to American soccer in general. So, I mean, here we are with uh, with the dream scenario, with uh, with a real, real good chance now to have a positive result uh, in front of our home fans and lift a, an incredibly important trophy in front of our home fans, a sellout crowd. What more can we ask for?